Yellowstone volcano. Rising magma chamber is a likely eruption trigger, scientists warn. The eruption of supervolcano systems like Yellowstone volcano in northwest America can be triggered by the expansion of subterranean magma chambers, a shocking study has found. Supervolcanoes like Yellowstone volcano in the US or Toba volcano in Indonesia tend to erupt every 100,000 years or so. The last known super eruption occurred about 26,500 years ago when New Zealand's Taupo volcano roared into life. US scientists estimate Yellowstone last blew up about 640,000 years ago, with two more eruptions 1.2 million years and 2 million years ago. Super eruptions are among the most devastating natural cataclysm to befall the planet but little is still known about what triggers them. However, supervolcano research funded by the US National Science Foundation has found a combination of stress factors acting on magma chambers could be the culprit. According to Patricia Gregg, a professor of geophysics at the University of Illinois, the formation of ductile halos around magma chambers allows the internal pressures to build up over thousands of years. This, in turn, causes the magma chamber's roof to rise upwards until it gives way. When this happens, the collapse of the chamber's roof and volcanic caldera will trigger a major eruption. The volcano expert said, you can compare it to cracks forming on the top of baking bread as it expands. As the magma chamber pressurizes at depth, cracks form at the surface to accommodate the doming and expansion. Eventually the cracks grow in size and propagate downward toward the magma chamber. In the case of very large volcanoes, when the cracks penetrate deep enough, they can rupture the magma chamber wall and trigger roof collapse and eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano system witnesses steady periods of ground uplift and subsidence, suggesting there is no imminent danger of eruption. According to the US Geological Survey, USGS, Yellowstone clearly can move up and down regularly without risk of erupting. The USGS also stressed there is no evidence to suggest pressure within the Yellowstone magma chamber is pressurizing towards an eruption. But the supervolcano study, presented to the Geological Society of America in 2011, challenged previous assumptions about the cause of super eruptions. Oregon State University geologists and study co-author, argued previous super eruption models focused on super-sizing smaller eruptions. He said, instead of taking the evidence in these eruptions at face value, most models have simply taken small historic eruptions and tried to scale the process up to super-volcanic proportions. Those of us who actually study these phenomena have known for a long time that these eruptions are not simply scaled up M.T. Mazamus or Kakatos. The scaling is non-linear. The evidence is clear. Whatever the case may be, the risk of Yellowstone volcano emptying its magma reserves onto the U.S. is a grave threat to humanity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.